Or you can lie them down if you want to lie them down and do it. Um, so with biceps and brachialis, we want about, I'm going to, I typically do it like this, okay, but if I do it like this, I'll be in the camera. So I'm going to kind of do it like this, all right? Uh, so you have 75 to 80 degrees of flexion. You have supination, all right? The patient can make a fist if you want. You're stabilizing or fixating at the posterior elbow. She can hold that position, so I know she has a three, all right? And then what I do is I give her resistance, hold, 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 all right? I'm giving her resistance into extension, she's flexing. Good? All right. Okay, brachioradialis. So very similar testing position, 75 to 80 degrees of elbow flexion. I'm going to stabilize posterior, but now rather than supination, I bring her into neutral. Okay, I don't pronate her, I don't supinate her, I have her in neutral, pronation and supination. All right, I see if she can hold that position. All right, three, okay, and then I give resistance and I want to look, see that muscle pop? Whoa, okay, so her brachial radialis pops right up, okay, and I know that's what's flexing her elbow. All right, good.